the book of Revelation 3, and I'm dealing with the church these days. These are the words of him who holds the seven spirit of God and the seven star. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up! Strengthen what remains and is alive about you and about to die. I've found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember therefore what you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not siled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white for they are worship worthy. The one who is victorious will be like them. Be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life. But will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels. Whoever has an ear, let them hear what the spirit says to the churches. Praise God. I want you to touch your neighbor and say, wake up and worship God. Come on, shake somebody and say, wake up and worship your God. Somebody praise God here. Lift your hand and praise God. Hallelujah. So, as I said this morning and I'm saying now, if you notice when it gets to Revelation, there's a lot of seven. So he's writing to the seven churches, talking about the seven plagues, the seven seal, the seven, there's a lot of sevens. There are 62 sevens, the Bible says, will happen before everything ends. So we see, as I said this morning, seven years ago, the last eclipse went through seven states in America. This one again, going through another seven states. Seven states, Nineveh. First time, seven state, Salem. Huh? I tell you from man in the church, just feel like, amen. All right, I'm going to teach it. Amen? Seven. So the number seven, seven, seven. Three sevens, 21. You go to Luke 21, and you see Jesus talking about all the things that will happen and will occur. Are you coming? Here he's writing to the seven churches. He talks about, hallelujah, the seven stars. And went as far as talking about the seven spirits. And when you talk about the seven spirit, some of you might get confused. So let me jump on that. The seven spirit of God is another name for the Holy Spirit. The seven stars are the messengers are leaders of the church. Hallelujah. The problem in the Sardis church was not heresy, but spiritual deadness. This church, from the teaching, the preaching, and last week I talked to you about Adventism and the whole nine yard, and you get an understanding why we celebrate uh, the resurrection and why we worship on Sunday. Huh? So we're not dealing with heresies when I come to teach you. I'm not an heretic. I'm a prophet. I, I, I like how that sound. I'm a teacher. I studied theology. I studied the word. So when I come to you, I'm not come to you as an antichrist or an heretic. I'm coming to you from the word of God. Why? Because I believe it. And so when I share it, I'm sharing my belief. My understanding and my knowledge out of the fear of God. Uh, giving you a revelatory understanding of the word of the living God. Somebody praise God. But you see, you can uh, uh, be in a place where you don't believe in heresy and you're not heretic, but still you're in the church of the true and living God and still be spiritually dead. Uh -uh. You're not talking to me. In spite of his reputation for being active, uh, the church is active, Sardis was infested with sin. 
Uh, its deep uh, uh, deeds were evil and its clothes soil. Hallelujah. If you honest, say, neighbor, change your garment. Put on clean clothes. Uh, we're going into the holies of holies. Somebody praise God. Uh, the spirit has no word of commendation for this church that looks good on the outside, but corrupt on the inside. Somebody, uh -oh. I don't want to be a part of church and worshiping with some people that dress good on the outside, but inside the heart bitter like sorrow. So you're not talking to me. Ah, alive on the outside, dress up and look good, come to church, but spiritually weak, cannot discern, cannot worship, cannot understand. There's no spirituality that is rising up. Ah, the tenacity of faith that makes you stand on the solid rock and don't want to give up. Too much frizzy need jelly back, giving up Christian who are not strong in the Lord, but strong with them tongue against one. Somebody praise God here. Lift your hand and praise God in this church here now. Somebody praise God here. They're spiritually dead. Hallelujah. I said they're spiritually dead. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, how are you? How is your spirit? Is your spirit alive in God? Or it's dead because you're a you're a quitter, not a fighter. Uh, you're not a worshiper. You're an accuser of the brethren. You're from the synagogue of Satan, who is a liar. You, you, you rise to tell lies uh, and accuse and chat and mind people business. But your spiritual life is lift your hand and praise God. Touch your neighbor and say, wake up. Uh, should I close already? Mm, should I close the service? Somebody praise the name of the living God here. Lift your hand and praise God. Even though Christ called Sardis a dead church, he also affirmed that uh, the handful of people who were faithful believers, uh, Christ love uh, to defeat death. If you find yourself in a dead church, Make sure you preserve your own faithfulness. Uh, lift your hand. Make sure you know a God for yourself. May I go say it again? Uh, I don't know that any of you believe that this is a dead church. Uh, if you feel like breakthrough is a dead church, then leave. Uh, but we are the church. Well, I don't know, but, but your pastor is sure not dead. Uh, lift your hand and praise God. Uh, so if you want to come here and be a dead Christian, that's your business. If you want to be a frizzy jelly back, good for not a worshiper, then I don't know what you're doing in here. Touch your neighbor and say, what you're doing in here? If you're not a worshiper, uh, somebody give God a praise. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. God is not dead. So the church must not be dead. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. And if the church is born again, the church is going to come alive and worship God because I'm seeking some worshipers to worship me in spirit and in somebody prays God lift your hands and neighbor you cannot be in the flesh you got to step into the holies into the realms of the spirit a lot of church can't manage the spirit a lot of preachers are afraid of the spirit can I preach it like I feel it many of them are law keepers they're not really worshipers but God is a spirit and they that worship must worship in spirit and in somebody come alive come alive church 
where is your anointing can I preach you like I feel it he said come on church I got a problem with you you're an active church because you open the doors and you dress up God church but I have a problem with you you're fleshy I feel something here you're not in the spirit you're operating in the flesh but he that is born of flesh is flesh and if you're born of the spirit you have to be spirit so you must be born again touch your neighbor and neighbor are you born again because a church that is spiritual is a church that is powerful you're not talking to me a worshiper that is spiritual is a worshiper that is powerful you're not giving God the praise somebody give God a praise somebody give God a praise lift your hands and neighbor let's get out of our flesh and step into the anointing somebody praise God when Jesus was in the flesh hallelujah he had to run for his life but when his spirit came upon him like a dove he looked at the devil and said get thee behind me you Satan somebody praise God Satan is having a field there with some Christian in the church because they are not in the spirit they are operating in flesh and Satan loves flesh come on you're not talking to me now Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. So you must be born again. Rise up, church. Somebody praise him, the man. Lift your hand and praise God. The church in Sardis was urged to go back to what they had first heard and believed, to return to the basics of their faith, to avoid mistake of Sardis we need to grow in our knowledge of the Lord and deepen our understanding to careful study of God's Word no matter how much we learn however we must never abandon how much we learn and the foundation of the truth of our faith no new truth from God will ever contradict the core biblical teaching somebody say get back to the basics lift your hands say neighbor stop worry about fashion I feel like preaching here stop worry about style not Jesus stop worry about dress up and get back to worship get back to the word love the word you're not talking to me here nowadays church consume with fashion consume with style can I preach it like I feel it consume with prophecy but not the word somebody praise God here the word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path concern with riches and wealth and nice life but no have no worship look good in a clothes but no have no worship dress up good in a Chinese makeover but no have no worship you can take the whole world but give me Jesus you're not talking to me here when I come to church I don't come to watch who have on this and who have on that me not have no time to mind people business I come to lift up my hands and give God the glory somebody worship God God has been too good all I know where I worry I no one got church cause you're afraid of people mouth and yeah a time you look past some people and say step aside now I feel my worship coming excuse me because when I think can I floor it of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me my soul cries out I wake up church wake up church 
Wake up church. You can't make the devil have you on the ropes. Wake up out of your slumber. Wake up out of your sleep. Help me here. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. You can't be lukewarm. You have to be hot. Catch a fire. Somebody say fire me up. Fire me up. Can I hammer it? Look at us. Excuse me neighbor. Fire me up. Fire. I can't be lukewarm. I have to be hot. Because I'm not going to be cool. I don't want a cool worshiper. Come out of your freezer. Hot like fire. I need real worshiper. Where is the church? But the living God. Worship. Lukewarm church. Now working at the time. A fire for fire. So if the devil has sent fire, you have to be fire. Fire for fire. Rise up, Christian. Come out of your sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Touch your neighbor and say, wake up. Wake up. Catch a fire. Give God the praise. Wake up and worship, man. Wake up. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Lift your hands and neighbor, me no know about you. But me no one go and have no reputation of being. I want to be. Some people live on reputation. Living in the past. But this present life, I don't only want to have a reputation. Huh? I don't want breakthrough ministry only to have a reputation. And when people come here, the church dead like Nita. When they hear Mark Stewart on the radio, they say, Yes, that church they live. I want to go at that church there. But when they come at the church, it's only a dead member sit down and hold on the church. Somebody wake up. Only go wishy washy. Now I'm going away, Christian. We are mind people business. Sit down in a church. I hold on the worship. So if Bishop not there, it look like Jesus not there. Somebody now talk to me. God, I'm a man pleaser. A man seeker. So if Bishop not come, come rev them up. No worship can go on. Get up in the church. Your little frizzle needs jelly, but we are cup. We are cup. Who said Florida? Somebody praise God. We are cup. No worship, Mark. Worship God. No worship, Mark Stewart. No come here for me. Come here for God. Can I preach it like I feel it? Don't give to me. Give to God. Lift up your worship. You have a reputation of being alive but you are dead physically alive but spiritually dead you have a reputation huh? of being alive but you are dead so the Lord said, wake up and strengthen what remain and is about to die. Lift your hand and say, I shall not die, but live and declare. Lift your hand the word of the Lord. Amen. You're not praising God. You shall not die. Uh-oh. Can I talk to the church? Some of you don't come here, but you don't love the church, you know. Some of you come here, but you don't love the ministry, you know. So if you don't love the ministry, if you don't love the prophet, if you don't love the altar, you can't make it in there, you know. If you disrespect me, and I respect your leader, and honor God, you will suffer in there, you know. You're dead. 
Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You think you can just come here and tell people, say, you're a breakthrough member and you're not a sower, you're not a worshiper, you're not a, yeah. you know, humble yourself. You know, want to praise God at the wrong church you're there. Lift your hand and praise God. God will spit you out of this. God say, I will vomit you out. I will spit you out of this. You have some church people in here. If you go on like Oya Galang, God will spit you out of this. God will move you out of this. One way or another. If you trouble me and trouble the whole tire, and you know, let people business and leave people alone, may they worship in another church. God will throw you. Yo, 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 yo. Either you're with me or you're against me. Either you're with the church or you're against the church. But you can't in the church. Come sit down, chop 10, twin your eye, and watch people. And when you go home, you call 10 people at chat. And I tell them about people and church. And you're not getting no worship in there. God, I got move. He said, I will remove your lampstand. I'm going out your candle. Either you're hot or you're cool, but you're like a lukewarm worshiper. We don't want you in here. We don't want you cool neither. Touch your neighbor, say, Get hot. Light up your light up your spiritually, light up your Christianity, light up your theater, light up your life. Wake up. Strengthen what remain. Give God a praise, man. Hallelujah. And he's about to die. For I have found you where these unfinished. Lift your hand and praise God. I have found you these unfinished in the sight of my God. Hold on. I have found your deeds unfinished. Some of you ready to give up on church and God, are you not finished your work yet? You never ever start yet. And too little problem, too little trial and too little testing. You're ready to give up already. Huh? I have, I have a word. I have two words to tell you. Anything you start in a church, I come to tell you, finish it. All hell break loose, but finish it. Somebody now say nothing. Touch your neighbor, say finish it. If God carry you, finish it. If God say, finish it. I hear Jesus. They box him. They accuse him. They kick him. They beat him. They put cross on him. Accuse him. Carry him to Galgota. Kneel him up between two teeth I feel preaching give God the glory shout hallelujah no man they kneel him up he asks for water they gave him vinegar somebody say finish it praise God no man praise God no man and the Bible said when the time come he prayed his last prayer and the final word he declared it is it is it is it is touch your neighbor say you can't give up no you can't back out no you can't backslide no you're almost there you're almost reach all the hell where you got to me don't know who me i talk to finish it this christian journey is hard lot of obstacles lot of road rough going tough sometimes you feel like give up but like jesus on the cross touch your neighbor say excuse me i'm going to fill he said it is finished he gave up the ghost lord jesus and he died on the cross but on the third day he rose again what are you afraid of lord jesus you make some mistake 
you lose some weight but not lose your faith you fall down seven time rise seven time fall don't give up yet it's not over till God say it over some of you sit down and back up because you come it's only because sin and you feel so guilty you want to leave church repent and come again I feel the Holy Ghost wake up Your deeds, I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of God. You know, finish your task. Don't let me leave behind an unfinished. What if me have church? You know, you know I go home now. You have fought. You've run the race. You have kept the faith. I feel like I'm in church. These words I long <laughs> to hear my Savior say. Rock or shut a And when my life on earth is past, said there's just one thing, Lord, I ask. Say, don't let me leave. Leave behind an unfinished. Y'all need to praise God in here. Touch your neighbor, say, finish it. You come too far. You have been through tribulation. You have been through persecution. Cross over. I feel the Holy Ghost. Finish it! You won't give up for You crazy? You said, I have this problem with you. Look like you aren't showing it away. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Hold it fast and repent. Huh? Huh? Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Repent. Wake up, church. Where is the church of the living God? Can I talk to the church? I don't know, answer me, man. From there, I don't answer me, God. Somebody shout hallelujah. He said, don't forget where me carry you from. Hold fast. People don't like you, but hold on. People want you dead, but hold on. People want your backslide, but hold on. Remember what God do for you. He will do it again for you. Don't give up. You went down, but don't stay down. Rise up again. Just like a tree planted by somebody praise God no man shall not when people out of the world love you church people are right you have some of your biggest critics biggest accusers writing at the church huh huh May I preach soon, you know? Anybody backslide in the church? Uh, the back part of hell I feel. Come here, teach and preach, you know? I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're going in your life. Don't give up on God. Wake up. Wake up. Nobody not perfect. Only Jesus perfect. Peter never perfect. Abraham never perfect. Moses never perfect. Huh? Elijah never perfect. You know, talk to me. David never perfect. Huh? But David was a man after God's own heart. 
he commit adultery fornication and murder but still God said he's a man after my you know what he never blaspheme never turn from God when his sin confront him he repent in the cause of church and cause of pastor and backslide him repent and turn creating me a clean heart oh God no man nobody condemn you repent 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 no man nobody make your left church because you make mistake everybody make mistake repent hold on for what you have praise God anyhow sit down in a God change your ways see God wake up he will turn the scars into stars he will turn the mess into success somebody help me here yeah. wake up The song man said, leave me at the altar. He's not true with me. I'm closing. I'm closing this. Somebody praise God. Remember what you have. Remember what you receive and heard. Hold on fast. Repent. But if you don't wake up, I will come like a thief. And you will not know what time I will come to you. Now gone, you're gone. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I like this part. Yet there are few people in Sardis who has not sighed their garment. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise God, no man. Lift your hands and neighbor. I want to be one of the few left in Sardis. You're not talking to me. Somebody say, Lord. Write my name, write my name, write it up there. Hold me, God, in the palm of your hand. They will walk with me, dressed in white, robing white, robing under the banner. Somebody praise God. Lift your hands, neighbor. Try not to sell your clothes. Walk with God. Walk right, live right, dress right. Somebody praise God. Someone come to church. You know one dressing in your white dress. You know, see people that go to church dress up in a damn white dress. Huh? White too easy for dirty. So we don't like white. But the Bible says you shall dress in white. Purity. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They my church people who ain't got church color up, breast, leg, and tie out. No one wear no gown. Cause they want to show fashion and style. Cause how they look outside more important than how they look inside. Wake up! Outside look pretty, inside messy. Uh oh. Man look at the outside, but God looks at your heart. And some people heart not right towards each other. Right in the church, set your house in order, fix your heart. If you are malice keeper, stop keep malice in the church. If you're not chat to people in here. Come out of the church until you're ready for chat to one another. Because we can't take no malice keeper in the church of the living God. Hallelujah! (laughs) 
Somebody not shot to the church. Fix your heart, man. Come alive. You walk past people. Have up people. Just because they call you up. Just because they report you. And your dirty attitude. Your dirty ways. You keep malice. Walk past people. Huh? You make some people want to go to the next church. No one worship with you. Because you sing punk choir. You do praise and worship. Are you in a church? I go on like you're full of Holy Ghost. But you keep malice. And now shut up. Can I, can I preach? Can I preach around here? Give me sound, make me preach around here. Can they not hear me? Somebody praise God. When you are past your church member, if they might come up this aisle, you're gone upon the other aisle. You not talk to me in church. I dead, you're dead. You're spiritually dead. If you can't make it right, if you can't say you're sorry, if you can't apologize, I am a shire. Can I preach? Am I preaching to the right people? Somebody holler, yes. Is a floor it? Me I go up a church. Me I go down there. But me not in a nothing with them. Me I just go sit down and praise me God. Me no want none of them chat to me. Come in a in a them. Where you can in a way. Cause you're too wicked. You're too treacherous. You're too malicious. So you can in a way. He that is born of flesh is flesh. So you're operating in flesh. And when some are we in the spirit, we can't agree with you in the flesh. Because we depend on a different level. That's why the church is a problem. Because some people are on a spiritual level and some people on a fleshy level. <laughs> the highway are not so long, so me not let it out. Me I pull back. I them say, but me I get some sunlight. Police up ahead. Somebody praise God. Somebody say, Florid, you're unstoppable. Lift your hands, a neighbor. Get rid of your bad mind. Get rid of your envy. Get rid of your red eye. Get rid of your malice, mean, stingy, complaining, witchcraft. Well, on. You know you have some people in the church, all in them powerful church, who now let go their witchcraft, who now let go their hobby, who hold on to the same thing in the house, where you have up in there, and a breakthrough here come. No wonder you can't bless. No wonder you look so paraplegic. No wonder you're so poor. No wonder you can't keep no work. No wonder you can't get no man. Cause you're full of hope, yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm preach? Some Christian can never be blessed. Cause they still hold on to the witchcraft. Then come a church dressed in a white and leave hope you down a yard. What kind of church is this? It is a Holy Ghost. If you join large, you can't be a member, yeah. You know what I preach? If you join Luminati, get out of here. I may pray Holy Ghost twist you up, send you to a hospital, and make your man then come for you. Somebody now chat to me. We are the church of the living God and the gay. If you are fish, if you are shark, if you are transy, watch yourself. Fire will burn you in here. It's a fire church. If you can't go see, go swim. You can't come here, so you know what I'm preach. 
Somebody praise God. Touch your neighbor, say you can't go and see. Feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. If you come at a church uh, and you're a female and I admire female, we're going to change your eyelid because you're gone wrong and we're going to burn fire upon you. Somebody praise God. When you come at a church, uh, woman admire man, man admire woman. Somebody now talk to me. No funny, funny around here. We don't want no choir member who are lazy. that find it a wife find it a good thing pull up your pants pull you up by your waist we don't want nobody in a church say them a man a bleach out and in a church oh praise the lord with your knee and knock and your foot can't hold me talk to neighbor say hold me your foot praise god if your foot are lock up something wrong with you if you're a man your foot must hold me Lift your foot, praise God. You can't in a church and you're a man and you walk. The blood of Jesus. Somebody praise God here. Go up your foot. in a pulpit I wear some color socks I walk tush and bend somebody know I'm a preach huh I was reading in the Bible and my Bible told me you have some preachers call themselves preachers and bishop the boys in the church have to call them daddy have to call them father let me tell you in other church here a one son me have in here the rest of who know and my brothers in here me no want no son to come call me no daddy come in a funny yeah somebody praise god if you want a daddy god are your daddy God are your father and him you feel called daddy. I am your bishop. I'm your prophet. Come daddy me up. Them preachers of them, them young boys calling them daddy. Daddy, well, daddy don't touch me there. I swear I'm gonna tell on you one day. boys in the church walking around daddy my daddy daddy excuse me you walk around brother Devin and go around and say who is your pastor my pastor is prophet doctor bishop Mark Stewart not no daddy Mark all of you preachers Having the young boys in your church calling your daddy, watch it. Calling your father, watch it. There's one father. That's almighty God. What's wrong with you? Worshiping them, cleaning their shoes. Putting on their robe, combing their hair, touching them, titivating them up. The little boys in the church, call yourself pastor in the church. Huh? You're one bagger man walking behind you, in front of you. Come off the restaurant, man. In your office, man. At your door, man. Everybody go. And when preachers like we have women around we, then say, and pastor, they love women and they are women. It's all right. May we live with me. All Jesus, thank you, woman. We can't deal with that. 
Because once I know myself, I know, say, I have missionaries and I have ladies who are well put together serving the church and praising. Who know, look, they can't say all what they want to say. A woman watch when Jesus get killed, crucified, buried, and a woman went back. Go carry the good news. Set up a church, no man. We're spiritually dead because we are poor with some slackness. Bunch of obia workers, gamblers, lodges, demonic men sitting in the church. Preachers want to preach and can't preach because. The check them are right from those men and those boys in society who control them. So they can't preach gospel. They can't say, thus said the Lord. Because they're in it. Involved. They might meet up up a large house on Saturday and Sunday in their church. I serve communion. In the dark room society called demonic force infiltrating the church of the living God permeating it with their evil behaviors and practices yeah. hallelujah church I get warm don't your neighbor say wake up we are going to keep the church or if you keep we are good clothes. See some of these boys calling themselves prophet. Oh boy, I have to make sure. Sometimes I get some clothes and they look nice. I mean, I try to wear them, but I have to be careful because you have to be very careful because they get tight. Up. I see some boys say they are prophets in the pulpit. Huh? And some tight. Oh, then go in night, God knows. They in a pulpit a preach. So they are preachers. They are prophet. They are prostitute. Because only prostitute dress like these boys nowadays who calling themselves prophets. Eh? Colored socks are no socks. Tight, spangy pants. Mm, eh? In the pulpit. So them preach. Go on up, man. These ladies on the rostrum. So they're doing praise and worship in their spangy pants and their tight pants. And there's no harm clothes on them. No hot pan head on the rest of the Bible. So when you're coming up here to do your cover your head. Hmm? The Bible said these preachers not telling the women how to dress, how to look in the presence. Americanized fashion and style. Huh? The Bible said these are those who wash their robe. They robed, they were robed in white and robed in white and it's only cut tight. A proper dressing. When you tell church people to dress good, them say you're old fashioned and you're this and that, them go a new age, Americanized church. So you have some great preachers with some wrong training of their members. Some great men of God preaching good gospel, but their 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 surrounding and how they carry the church of God and how they allow the people to dress and behave in the church is wrong. And a lot of young people flock these churches because they can dress how they want. They can bore up everywhere, color up, go in the the and praise and worship and bore nose and bore up ears and have that kind of ring and tie it up and they can go up and look on some rostrum and you see all the girls in tight jeans tight and the praise and worship team on the rostrum of God of God do you know that the Bible says when the angels see the presence they cover up everything they hide all them fears do you know what it is to be in the presence somehow now look for me funny go along the man go on if you don't like all this at church just here you know why wear up your hat and robe up in your white. Let me old fashioned. Man, look for me and say, once I see your church, I know what type of church it is. A place because I see your members in a hat. Man, know what type of church that is. By how the members look and dress. You're on the choir. Put on. Robe up. I come off. You are ministering to people. 
And when you come up here, so nobody knows not look upon you. They must look upon the message where you carry. You must not be the center of the attraction. Sometimes if me dress, I me feel like me I dress too hot. Come up, I me change my clothes because I don't want too much admiration. But sometimes I really have some nice hot clothes. I me put them on. I say, Lord God, the people them look at me too much. Me nothing me I want to wear. They're too hot. The man said, Bishop Hattie, Lord, Bishop, and the attention I got put on how me look and not the message I'm carrying. But you have to wear your clothes when God bless you, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but you know, don't make the clothes become. I'm close your ass. The cake is cold. <laughs> Hallelujah! They will walk with me dressed in white. For they are what? Worthy. The one who is victorious will be like them. Be dressed in white. I will never blow out the name of that person from my book. I will what? Never. Somebody say never. never. The Lord says I will never blow out the name of that person from the book of life but will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels who have an ear to hear what the spirit has said to the church wake up and worship God in spirit and in truth watch yourself you think you and church people are going to hands up on the day of judgment are you going to hands up God here Say they make people and church or whatever. Sink you and put you in a hole. Set your house in order. Fix up yourself. And come to God the way you know how right. Take your time. You make mistake. You're not perfect. Yeah, come again. Wheel. Don't give up. That's what the devil wants. Don't backslide. You get discipline. You get correction. Take it. Now walk out of church, but you're not. Come back and you're not. And this and you're not. And that. Who you think? Say, what do you think you're doing? He says, you have an unfinished task. So watch what you do, because your task is not finished. And God will not receive you until you finish your task. So do what you need to do. Quick and fast. And come serve God. In my church. You know, like a hanky-panky, go and cut it. Tap it, sort out yourself. And come. And turn up boldly. And give God the glory. Pray earnestly. If you look like you now come through fast and praise of God. I want to serve you. I want to do what is right. So set me up. Fix my life. So may I take God for granted. You want the blessing but not the blesser. You want the healing and the prayer but you don't want salvation. You don't want to get saved. You don't want salvation. You don't want to get baptized. You're not ready yet. Wake up. The end is near. You don't see the signs. The Bible is fulfilling. You think we have much time? All who are saying, oh, I have time. I can live some more life. Go along. Go and live, man. Kill is like soap opera. Bold and beautiful, young and reckless. Go and live for man. Go and live for your lifestyle, your behavior. Go and follow the world and see where it carry you. You come of age. You reach a stage. You're not 12 and under. You have an answer to God. Hello! Some of we in a church from Wappy Kill Philip. I know we don't get it right. And some of we want to tell people how we live and we not live. Don't let me go there. Don't chat out people's life and point finger. And the big old plank sit down in a field face. They are judge people. Talk about they now and live and they now and this. Two years round in a secret and freedom in a open. We are the church. And I, I can't floor it. I can't, 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 I can't floor it. Shut a fire. Police step on the road. I can't floor it. Hallelujah! Set! Your house in order and leave people. 
And then work out their salvation with fear and trembling with God. Judge not, lest you be judged. God bless you. But well, I don't know if you come here and I got done today. Some people might escape and nobody will take none. Because their message are hard. Missionary, look if nobody are going to escape there. Lock it door. Come here and take time, crawl, go to the bathroom and, and go through the door. We don't want no Thomas in here. We don't want no Judas in here. Go hang yourself. Right on, right on. <laughs> Hold me right on, Jesus. If your hand can't go up. <laughs> Hallelujah! Stand on your feet and close it. Hallelujah! Raise your hand. We're closing. I want to be acknowledged. Everybody say, I want to be acknowledged by Jesus to the Father. You I said, I will acknowledge you to my Father. These are they who have washed their robe. These are their robe in white. Amen? Make them call your whole fashion. Make them say I go a whole fashion. She marks you at a hole, you know. Yes. Put on your robe. Come in at the presence. Because where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. And a fashion church. This is not a fashion church. It's a worship church. 